Ah, Todd Hudson's in the house. This is awesome. Very cool. Happy Monday. Great to see all of you here. Uh, welcome to our company huddle. I have some incredible news I'm excited to share with you. Let's start. Tell me something good. Anybody? Okay. I'm going to tell you something good. Let's go to our mission statement. I am thrilled and happy to introduce you to this incredible professional we have been in the process of interviewing for a long period of time. Clint is joining us as our MCTT and admin support. He's amazing. He worked for the largest company on island. Super impressed with him. Please remember when you started real estate, how long it took you to figure out contracts and command. We're going to give him a lot of grace as he gets started. Time to learn our systems. Clint, are you on? I would love for you to read our mission statement as an introduction. Yeah, I'm here. Aloha. Uh, it Aloha. Says to, it says to build careers worth having, businesses worth owning, lives worth living, experiences worth giving, and legacies worth leaving. We are stoked to welcome you to our KW Ohana. Welcome, welcome. I'm sure everyone will share the love. Uh, we just appreciate you so much and having you part of our team. So, okay, let's go on to the next slide, RJ. We are focusing, we call these our Y4C2Ts. It took me about six months to say that, Clint. So don't worry if it takes a while to get it. But one of the things I love about our company is we have this core belief system. This month we're highlighting integrity. This is why our interview process takes so long over a period of weeks. Uh, and we're highlighting on social media, do the right thing. Hashtag do the right thing, integrity. So um, that is the core of who we are and what makes us different. And then our six personal perspectives that we're highlighting this month is removing limiting beliefs. It was so funny in our board meeting, people kept chiming in, I hear a limiting belief. So that's the thing. We got to challenge what our beliefs are in order to break through them. So let's be thinking about what are some of your limiting beliefs and how they're impacting your business. Want to thank the board and especially Todd Hudson, who is joining us here on our company huddle. These are our leaders. Um, next slide, RJ, board of directors. We just had our meeting this month and OAK who will be joining us next month. I'd like the board to have an opportunity to share anything they would like from their work. I don't know if Todd, if you had anything to share from your, it's great to have you on the call. Um, anything from what you're doing with Career Night or anything else? Yeah, I mean, we wanna change Career Night a little bit. Um, uh, you know, looking through what KW is doing throughout the country, we're trying to focus a little bit more on the wealth portion of it, whereas, you know, getting into real estate obviously can provide you that six career, six figure career, but also will allow you to do some other things, uh, hopefully to help take care of your family for the rest of their lives. So you know, the goal is to just not look at it as a, as a real estate career, but what it can lead to more importantly. Thank you. And he is hosting every first Thursday from six to seven career night. If you guys would like one of these really cool cards to be able to invite your friends, I have some in the office and encourage you to invite those professionals that you see, teachers, nurses, and other high performing professionals that you interact with and have them come to Todd's career night. Thank you for your leadership board. Uh, it's an honor to work with all of you. Okay, YP for the young and young at heart. We appreciate these leaders, Jason. I don't know if you or Daisha or any of the core four have anything you would like to share about regarding YP. Nope, they're all busy doing Wait, contracts. Sam is here. Awesome. Sam is nope. here. Oh. <laughs> we just want to let everybody know. Hey, hey, Hi. <laughs> um, our monthly meeting is coming up. Um, with Daisha, I think it's. Let me look. <laughs> so bad. Is this second, um, is second it? Monday? Yes. We want everyone to come, even if you are under 40. You may be young at heart or a new agent. So we're welcoming everyone, and we're going to be talking about um, what we have to offer, as well as um, the core four. We are um, 
working diligently for our chapter. So thanks everyone. Thank you, Sam, for your leadership. I attended, I'm definitely not under 40, but attended the last meeting and it was so powerful to hear some of their stories on how they got into real estate and why they stayed with KW. I appreciated Rye and Alan and everyone who was there sharing. So if you are not, um, young, but you're young at heart and really want to get to know these professionals. It's a great opportunity to meet them. And it's a community that our new agents can plug in or even experience ages under 40. So congrats. Uh, Clint will be helping you this with this as soon as we get him all trained up. Those of you that are in the 201 plus club, congratulations. We know that our average GCI is 119,000 for those that have over 200 contacts. So if you're not in that club, reach out to us. Carrie will be coming on Wednesday and we want to help support you in your business through your database. If you don't have the command app, here's it's improving every day. Uh, we can import contacts directly from our phone now. I'm gonna leave that up for you guys to be able to scan individuals and teams importing contacts. I posed a challenge last week and I'm interested in what Todd thinks about this because I was meeting with an agent and we were really wanting to take our business to the next level with open houses. Having been in Todd's class, know the inventory and other professionals, Lee, last week, we thought we'll do a hundred hour challenge. And I have two brave souls who've taken the challenge between now and the fourth, it's actually the 4th of July. Uh, that's uh, typo. It's 4th of July. So you have over a month to get 100 hours of open house in. And we already have stories from people getting multi, multi million dollar buyers. So I wanted to check in with Steve and Teresa and see if anybody else wants to join the challenge in the chat. Um, Steve, I know had 10 last time I talked to him. Are you there, Steve? I was just looking for a report yes. on where you're at. Do you have any stories? <laughs> you know, this one, uh, it was, it, yeah, definitely. Um, it, You've been pushing me to get back out there. I've been kind of away from open houses, um, you know. Uh, so it was good because uh, one of the fellow coworkers here, sorry, uh, Jasmine O'Brien, she's also a neighbor of mine. She has to help out. Although it's a little bit of a struggle to have an open house in Wailea with the sign rules, it was still great. Um, I still had several people come through. Um, there was a good two solid leads that I want to stick up with that, you know, in a price point like 2.4, um, it, when people kind of come in and knowing that price, it helps out, you know, and so, um, yeah, so I got two really good leads out of that. Um, and then I'll have a listing coming up that I'll mention later. Um, so I want to be having some um, open houses this weekend and the following weekends with that and stuff. So yeah, 10 hours awesome. so far, and uh, I think we can pull it off. Awesome, Steve. Yeah, I actually personally referred a client this weekend to someone who was sitting open because they were there. So getting out there, this is your lead gen. Anybody else have a story? I don't know, I don't see Teresa on yet, but I'm, this is I'm how, on. oh, there you are. Okay, hey. Um, oh, yeah. So we did three open houses this week. Uh, the So good leads for the first two. So are you counting from the time that the house is open to it ends or from the time you start setting up and it ends? The time it's open, because all that other stuff, you're not getting clients, unless you're getting people off the street come up to you, but basically I, your hours open. Thank you. so, yeah. <laughs> but we'll go with, I've got 18 hours and um, I had three yesterday. We had a group of nine. We have three yesterday that all want to make offers. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It's working. Anyone else? Want to join the challenge? Now's your chance. So I'll say one more thing real house. quick. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, not only is it just the buyers that you're expecting, you know, to kind of get through there, it's just, it just gives you social media content, chance to take videos, pictures, have your sign in a major area for like five or six hours at a time. I had so many people say, Hey, I saw your sign the other day. And so they didn't even, they're not at the open house, but just seeing it on the road. So there's so many more benefits. Even if you have zero people come in one day, there's still some benefits from it. So. Yeah, great point. Great point. It's absolutely right. And a lot of times they may not come in, but they saw your sign and they're on their way to work and they call you after work or a, a couple of days later, they took a picture of it and they're like, oh, I saw your sign. And it's like, my signs weren't out today, but they, they took a picture from the day before or whatnot. Open house is awesome. Love the stories. I know if you've been to Todd's inventory class, you'll hear stories of the buyers are out there unrepresented. And if you're out there ready to catch them up, 
this is the, this is your chance. So we're encouraging everyone to get out there. If you want to join Steve and Teresa, let me know, and we'll uh, check in with you next week. Okay, I'm gonna miss May. Don has been the man of the month. He's been doing ninja classes every Tuesday and social media every Friday. So those of you who know, he's on his walk, I guess. Go ahead, Don, if you want to share something about your ninja. Uh, yes. So. Tomorrow, we're going to cover the 10 step buyer process. And then next Tuesday, we're going to cover the 16 step seller process. So if you are relatively new and haven't really gone through how to work with buyers or sellers, these two weeks will be the most important weeks out of the whole Ninja training that we've done. They build off of what we've done the last three weeks, but these will be specifically exactly what to do step by step. So I hope to see you there. And then this Friday is the last social media one. So if you haven't been to it before, get to it because it is, I think it's pretty powerful, provides a lot of value. Does anyone want to share an aha from some of these classes? I personally, I'll start and while well, you think about it, I've had people call me and say, man, this is awesome. I thought I just had to do cold calls, which is a great way to build your business. Dawn's teaching how to attract business because we all do it differently, right? And so this is, if you're struggling to find a way to lead Jen, he's built his business successfully through social media and Ninja. Anyone else want to share an aha from the Ninja series? I love it. I, I, I think it's everything that we should be. It teaches you to be an agent from um, contribution, not so focused on being a transactional agent. So one and done, like a one night stand. It teaches you how to have and cultivate a relationship so that you're a part of somebody's life, that you're adding value and you're um, really serving your community. I, I, can't, I can't recommend it high enough and Don's doing an exceptional job. And we've, several of our top producers are ninjas. So it tells you that it works. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. We're looking to bring an installation here, which is a specific training uh, for Ninja in Hawaii. So I know Don's working on that, but I encourage all of you to attend. This is a class that people are talking about. It's filling the room and really changing the way we do business. And if you've missed his social media pauhanas, he's going to be covering that same information this Friday from two to three. So join us and uh, learn more from Don. Very cool. Okay, uh, uh, let's see. Now our Palhana corner, our fierce lady leaders, anyone want to provide an update on what's coming? Yes, I can. Um, so everybody who came out, we appreciate everyone coming out for the social media for May. Next month, we do have 1031. And we hope you guys come out for that as well. Any of the three spots, Lahaina, Central or Kihei, pick your spot, pick your poison. Or if you have suggestions on something you'd like to see, let one of us know. We are meeting um, next, next month to put together the next quarter of uh, Alhanas. So if there's something you really want or had questions, please reach out to one of us. We'd be happy to help. And we hope to see everyone there. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Can you go back to the board of directors? I think I may have missed Todd something that he wanted to share on the board of directors side. This is an opportunity. Any directors that have anything to share from their communities um, really appreciate. Dean has been meeting with agents. I'm on the west side here, meeting with an agent that he's connected me with. Uh, any of you have anything to share, Todd? Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, first, I want to say thanks to everybody for putting on all that other stuff. I mean, I know it does take work. So uh, seeing uh, all these other agents really stepping up and help up. Great job, everybody. It's really appreciative. I think really as a community, we're really starting to grow. I uh, love to see everybody helping each other with, you know, having that servant heart. So really happy to be part of that. Um, love that. You know, see even some of the OGs like Dean jumping into and helping. It's just, it's really cool. Uh, really appreciate all that. Um, big announcement. Uh, 808 Maui Vacation Rentals has officially opened up. Uh, we are the only company that is sponsored by Keller Williams. So we will be there to help support you guys when it comes to uh, servicing your clients if they're looking for a vacation rental company. Some of the benefits uh, to talk to you about. 
Uh, first of all, we're 20% um, across the board for the first six months, and then I'll go to 22%. So looking across the board, it will help uh, compared to most of the companies that are out there. We will not have junk fees on there and any work that can be completed through our team well, with less than 20 minutes, your seller will or your owner will not be charged with. So we thought that was a really nice thing. We've been looking at owner statements uh, and the owner statements have a lot of little junk fees. So the, our goal is not to have that. Uh, we have no reason for it. Uh, we also will have a uh, an online portal where your sellers can see what's going on, who's renting it, what's the price, everything. So they'll really know uh, a lot more transparency than anyone else has on the island. Owner statements are killer. So it really breaks down the numbers for your clients, which is really cool. Um, no onboarding fees. The only company on Maui that does that. So we will provide our pictures, uh, put it into the site for free, things like that. Best part, referral for, you, for the agents. So we decided, so we went through a lot of the different programs that companies were offering uh, as referral bonuses to the agents. So we came up with the idea of, you know, we're going to have, we're going to offer somewhere, um, I'll break it down for you. If it should bring in $100,000 or less, you're going to get a $500 referral. If it goes from 100,000 to 200,000, it'll be a thousand referral and 200,000 income and above will be a $1,500 a referral fee. Best part about that referral fee is it'll actually happen on the anniversary every single year. You'll continue to receive that income as long as you still keep a license. So it's a, a great option for agents to bring some residual income in every year. You know, you bring a, a nice property, it's bringing in 200,000, you know, that's 1,500 every single year coming in. Bring us 10 of them, it's $15,000 check you get every single year. So the thought process was we didn't want to do the incremental benefits of where you know, if you stay with the company for only 18 months and then it gets lost, the thought process was as long as they stay with us, uh, you'll continue to get the bonus. What we also did is the person who's in charge of um, the back end of the company, they will, I'm sorry, no, Lisa, $100,000 a year in rental income. Gross rents, you're welcome. Um, yeah, so... Sorry, completely lost. Oh, uh, the, the back end of the system will show every agent who is involved on the deal. Um, our The rental company will absolutely have nobody who will be doing license sales. So the goal is always to refer that back to the agents. Uh, and we hopefully can make something that'll work for everybody and be exciting for everyone as we start to grow it. So give me a call if you'd like a performa, if you want to talk more about it, you want me to talk with your clients. A great option for agents moving forward. We appreciate you so much, Todd, and your generosity. Those of you that have been in our policy and guidelines manual classes, we know that the state of Hawaii is requiring that we have management. And so Michelle has been working with all of you and Todd is offering an incredible deal just for us as agents. So I encourage you to reach out to him if you do have one that you want want to have him manage. And it's awesome to have one homegrown. So that's fantastic. This is also, if anyone else on the board would like to pop in on anything that they would like to share, feel free uh, to interrupt me and do so. Otherwise, oh, no. Otherwise, we'll move on. I've got, uh, I've got a culture update. Yay. Oh, right. Uh, hey, everybody. Jonathan here, Director of Culture. First off, I just want to acknowledge again and thank everybody for a very successful Red Day. We had a lot of agents show up and uh, built toiletry kits at the office and um, made boxes of food for the needy on the island. And uh, so that was really wonderful. Thank you for your uh, generosity and compassion and support. And our next culture event is going to be in June. We're solidifying the date. It's probably going to be mid-June, uh, the week of the 21st, and uh, but we'll have the details very soon. It's going to be a social, and we're going to be bowling. We uh, are going to book the bowling alley for a few hours, and so uh, that should be a lot of fun just for us to connect and uh, have a good time together. So I just wanted to put that on your radar, and I hope everyone. Thank you, Jonathan, for your leadership. There's some questions in the chat. Yes, Lisa has a long-term option at 8%, which is incredible. 
for long-term property management. So reach out to her if you have a long-term rental you want help with. Thank you, Jonathan, for uh, the culture. It's going to be fun to see how people bowl. <laughs> We've been paddling, but now we get to see who the bowling stars are. Uh, it's great. Uh, we have uh, career night. Next slide with Todd. Again, we have these cards, but if you have someone that you want to send to this, scan that and get them registered. He's hosting at the Kahului Market Center every first Thursday, six to seven. Great way to get people into real estate. So free also, if you yeah. are going to refer somebody <laughs> okay. not, real quick, if you are going to refer someone to career night and you're not going to show up, if you just give me a text or a call to let me know so I can make sure we, we give them that red carpet treatment and then I can tell you how things go uh, the next month or I'm sorry, after the class. Yeah, I appreciate that, Todd. He's protecting the potential profit share of our agents who refer to career night. So that, that's awesome. Respecting people's referral. Thank you. Another exciting announcement, and I would sign up for this now, ASAP. It's going to fill up. Uh, it normally costs like $1,000. Uh, when I went to Career Visioning with Tony Brody, he's a regional owner. And Colette Ching, our brokerage owner, will be here June 14th all day in the Kahului Market Center. And as you guys know, we only have limited space there. So we've asked the board, everybody, please sign up and join us for this. And then if you have a team you're hiring on the 15th, they're going over 30, 60, 90 day plans to support your business. I have not heard that there's going to be a cost to this, which is amazing. So please sign up. Um, it'll be a great time. Great to connect with our, our ownership and uh, learn about how we hire here, which Clint just went through. Extensive process. So, and eight weeks to wealth. This is so fun. Uh, but I've been working with Colette and Chad to really help our agents dig deep into to their wealth plan. And we had a meeting in May. It will be the third Wednesdays from 12 to one. Chad will be leading that one with, with Colette and I next week or next month. So please join us. It was great. Uh, Michelle, I saw her immediately go take action. They had mentioned the Apple savings at 4% that just opened up. There's some real substantial tips and tricks in there. I myself personally saved 20,000 in my taxes this year based on what I learned in a class sim similar to this. So we just want to support you guys and your businesses and doing this through our eight months to wealth. And as a note, just send your uh, positive vibes. If you are someone who prays to uh, for Michelle, she has lost her voice completely, uh, actually has official doctor's orders not to speak through Thursday. So she will be working remotely, but probably will not accept your phone call if you can just text her if you need anything. And of course, you have other brokerage support here. So all classes taught by Michelle this week are canceled, including agent um, profitability financials today uh, through the end of the week. So um, yeah, sending you all kinds of love, Michelle, if you're on. And as a reminder, uh, Mark Center is just up for grabs. We need to get it cleared. We have a very full world-class trading calendar. So Allie and I have our um, schedules coordinated. If you want to schedule anything, just, just run it through us, please. We also want to ensure the vendors that we bring in are ones that we support. And so um, that's just a, a reminder to everyone. Uh, okay, where are we at? Oh, great. Now we have a few minutes. If anyone has a listing or buyer need, I know um, 30 Hiona was held open this weekend. Does anyone else have a listing they'd like to highlight or a buyer need at this time? I have a listing, if I can go for it. Hey, Steve. All right. So it is Kihei Resort. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's right across from Monsoon and all that uh, little North Kihei. Uh, two bedroom, two bath, second floor, um, 838 square feet, short-term vacation rentable. Um, 875,000 is what we're going on Thursday. Um, new Court's countertop would kind of open up a little bit of that wall as soon as you walk in. So it looks really nice. Um, the other two have gone pretty quick that that um, listed in that area. So let me know if you have any questions or any buyers that are might be interested. Congrats, Steve. And I'm sure you're going to have an open lot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the open houses too. If I need help, I'll reach out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Anyone else? Great to see everybody's smiling face on a Monday morning. So, hey Miranda. Good morning, everyone. So I have a new signed listing. It's not going on the MLS right now. 
It, uh, we're working with the trustee. It's another one at Kai McConney. It's in the back. It's nice. right by the pool. It's beautiful with its breezes and lanai. It's a two bedroom, two bath, 1126 square feet. It's in original condition, but uh, 1,049,000. And we already have the first offer. It came in immediately, but we are accepting other offers. We're looking at all of them. And then we will be searching for backup offers also. So I have pictures and video, or I can show it to you in person or FaceTime, but it's a fantastic price, especially compared to the one that just listed. Awesome, Miranda, congrats on that. Love that area. Anyone else? Oh, good. Uh, next Monday is Memorial Day. Right. Thanks for Steve. The office will be closed. Go enjoy your three-day weekend. Um, we're always here for you if, you if you need us, but just everyone's aware. Have a fun Memorial Day. Are there any other listings you'd like to highlight or buyer needs? Awesome. Thank you, everyone, for being on the call. Thank you, Dean, for setting up this appointment. Have here in Whalers today for you and welcome, welcome, Clint. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha.